Look at that cart, girl. I know. Headed to go pick up my best friend and go thrifting. So this is my best friend, Danny. <laughs> We've tried recording this so many times, so we're going a little crazy right now. It's okay, we don't have kids. <laughs> Anyways, like she said, we are kid-free, having a little best friend day. We're gonna go to an antique store and some Goodwills. We haven't been together just hanging out, just her and I, without kids for like two years. Yes. So this is a big deal. All right, let's go see what we can find. <laughs> It's cute in here. Yeah. And it's only twelve ninety five. I feel nice like a... I feel like that'd look cool in my office. Like with my desk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I might get him. Look at these bad boys. They're actually gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think my favorite was this one and uh, this one. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this one. Yeah, that's pretty. So, so good. I like it. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. I don't know, which one do you want me to try on? You pick one. Pick the one you want the most. I mean, you liked the... This gray one? Yeah. This is the one you just tried on though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I gotta do a different one. Oh, okay. I gotta do a different one. Let's do this one. Maybe not, that one looks tiny. Oh, let's see. You're tiny. It's like very petite. Oh, it's got a big old hole in it. Oh, sad day. Oh, she's petite. Look at that. Glamorous. Very. Super glam. Yes, for sure. This is what nightmares are made of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I got yes. this really cool. I don't know if this is vintage or vintage or vintage. Did you know that? Anything that's like 25 years or older is vintage. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> it's a taco truck like pop-up book set. And Lucas is just going to love it. They pop Aww, up as you read. Aren't they cute? Yeah. yeah. They're so cute. I got this for the office. I think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And for $12, not bad. Mm -hmm. She's pretty. Very. So those are the two things I got. Danny got a Melissa and Doug puzzle, puzzle for her daughter. Good move. These, uh, these come with the uh, dog poop in them. Looking for me, but also trying to like look for things to resell. That's the goal. Very cute. 
super cute. Love it. I, I like say yes. Completely messed my hair up while I was. Ooh yes. I got a J Crew one that's similar to that. It that's really look, cute. It doesn't look like too big or anything. Uh uh. I am not sure how it looks. Very cute. I love it. All right, here's some things that I'm trying on for myself. So this was cute, but it just was nothing special. So I decided to leave this one behind. This one was actually so cute, but the more I thought about it, when would I ever wear this? Am I gonna wear this doing the dishes at home? Probably not. Like, I don't really need something like this. So I decided to leave it behind too. You guys know, I love this thing. Look how cute it is. So cute. Oh, I am tired. Yeah. Look at that cart, girl. I know. That's but I got. Danny bought the whole store. I did. She bought. Everybody is going to be happy with mom. I did make it just all about me. The entire store. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a few days but I wanted to share with you guys everything that I got at Goodwill I got a few things for myself and then I got a good amount of stuff for resale to try and flip for a profit we'll see um, I'm new at this I just needed to figure out a way to balance out some of the spending that I was doing <laughs> at the thrift stores since I've been making a lot of like thrift with me videos and I'm having so much fun doing them but I am spending a little more money than I used to. So I'm just trying to get creative here and trying to figure out a way to provide a little bit of an income for my family, help provide a little bit. So I'm trying my hand at some resale and we'll just, we'll see what happens. First thing that I got for myself is this really soft, cute little tank top. I live in tank tops in the summertime and so I'm always on the lookout for a cute tank top because I go through them so fast because I'm outside and I'm in the garden and I'm mowing the yard. This is not gonna be like a mowing the lawn shirt, but you get what I mean. This is the Soft and Sexy Tank from American Eagle and I paid $2.99 for this. I love the detailing on the bottom and I couldn't resist it so I picked this one up for myself. But the other thing that I found for myself is just this little cropped tank from Forever 21. Like I said, I live in these things nice high-waisted pair of skinny jeans or shorts and a little tank like this perfect that is what i love to wear and i paid 2.99 for this one as well okay so on to the items that i found to try to resell we'll save a really cool find for last i picked up this really gorgeous ralph lauren green plaid skirt i truly love this if this was in my size, I don't wear a lot of skirts and dresses, but if I did, if this was in my size, I would definitely figure out a way to rock this because I just think it is so pretty. Um, I picked this up for $5.24 and based on the comps, I think I should be able to get like $20, $25 out of it. Um, we'll see. Buying things that like weren't for myself kind of gave me a little bit of anxiety because I'm like, is this gonna sell? Am I buying this stuff and then I'm gonna be stuck with it? I don't know, we'll find out. I also picked up this Adidas jacket to try and resell. I love wearing things like this. Um, it is a size medium. It's in amazing condition and I paid $4.99 for this. And I've been seeing things like this selling on eBay for like $20, so we'll see. I'll try. I'll list it on my Mercari, and then I also have been listing on Poshmark and eBay as well, so we'll see. I've been having a good amount of sales for just starting off, so I'm excited to see what happens. It's just a really nice black Adidas athletic jacket. You can't go wrong with these. I actually tried this one on for myself, but it was just a little too big. So I looked up the comps for like Harley Davidson stuff and that stuff sells pretty good. So I got this pink Harley Davidson tank top. I paid $2.99 for it. I 
figured I could probably at least list it for like $15 from what I'd seen. So cute. I would totally wear this, but like I said, a little too big for me. This was an exciting find. I was very excited to see this label. It's Aster the Label. I think that's how you say it. A-S-T-R. Like, do you pronounce it Aster? I feel like that's how I've heard people say it. I really don't know brands. That's, I'm struggling. Like when you're trying to look for things to resell, you can't go off what you think is like cute because not everybody thinks that that kind of stuff is cute and things that you think are good brands, other people might not think are good brands. And so then you're looking up what like brands cost and then you're checking comps and I don't know all these brands and there's a million different brands out there and it's a little stressful and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. A little stressful. But I found this gorgeous top from, I'm gonna call it Aster the label. Let me know if I'm wrong. Is it A-S-T-R or is it Aster? <laughs> but I thought it was so pretty. I paid $4.99 for this. Similar shirts like this are being listed for like $30 to $40 on eBay. So we'll see, but she's gorgeous. She's a size small. I think this one will probably sell pretty fast, but I actually don't really know because I'm new at this, like I said a million times. I picked up these new with tags, IZOD Extreme Function Golf Shorts. Um, the good thing about these are they're my husband's size. So if these don't sell, my husband just got a new pair of golf shorts, plus he golfs. So it's a win-win. <laughs> I tried to stay like in the safe zone with some things like could Joey or I wear this if this doesn't sell kind of stuff. I'm not too stressed out about if they don't sell. I paid $4.24 for these. They um, are normally $48, so I figured I could probably list them for like $20, $25 $20, and see what happens. But they're a really nice pair of golf shorts. My husband would wear, he rocks these things in the summertime all the time, so I'm not stressed about that one. Then I picked up this like sweater t-shirt. It actually looks really cute. I didn't try it on for myself, but maybe I will just to see what it looks like, but it's really cute. It's from the brand BCBG Generation. It's a size extra small, small. It was normally $4.99, but it was half off, so I paid $2.50 for it. With the comps, another $15 or $20 probably, and this is another one of those things if it doesn't sell. I will probably wear it. And I saved the best for the last, at least I think they're the best for the last. They are these Italian leather brown heeled boots. I saw these from a distance and I just knew, I'm like, those look expensive. Originally from J. Crew, and I looked up similar boots like these. They don't sell these exact ones anymore, but ones that were similar to these were like $350. So that's pretty expensive. They are genuine Italian leather. They're size seven. They do have, you know, signs of wear to them, but I feel like a good pair of leather boots that are a little, you know, scuffed up, I feel like that actually looks pretty cool. The tops of them are in excellent condition. These were an orange sticker too, so I only paid $4 for these. They were normally eight. And I feel like I could clean them up a little bit and Feel like they will sell. I'm gonna have to look up comps to see what to list them for, but it may be like anywhere between $40 to $50 maybe. I tried these babies on and they are gorgeous on. They are just a beautiful, beautiful pair of brown leather boots. They fit really nice in the calf, so they're not like that baggy top calf boot, you know what I mean? Like when you're walking, they're like flapping back and forth, do you know what I mean? They are just gorgeous. And you know what? How beautiful would this Ralph Lauren green plaid skirt be with these underneath? I mean, that's a vibe. I love that. That is so pretty. Too bad this wasn't my size because I would possibly maybe just hang on to these myself because I think it's so pretty. We will get these things listed and hopefully they sell. And if you're interested in any of these items, they will be on my Mercari, which I'll leave a link, and then I'll also list them on my eBay store. And if by chance you are interested, just send me an offer. Let me know that you're coming from YouTube. I appreciate you guys so much, so I wanna get you guys a good deal on these things. So I actually found like a 
handful of other things too but I felt like they would maybe be kind of boring to show you guys because they were like good brands and good material but kind of boring pieces of clothes if that makes sense so if you guys are interested in seeing literally everything I find leave me a comment below and just let me know that you do want to see everything and I would be more than happy to show you guys I just don't want to bore you guys so I stuck to the things that I thought were like really fun and interesting after adding everything up what I paid and then checking the comps I should profit like $250 if everything sells like I am expecting it to so that's not bad for a first time but that's it for this video today you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching thank you to all my subscribers I just want to let you guys know that I truly appreciate you guys so so much you have no clue how much it means to me when you guys watch my videos and leave me sweet comments and subscribe I truly appreciate every single one of you and if you like videos like these and you haven't subscribed yet then consider subscribing I would love to have you here and also, don't forget to check out my Instagram at Becca underscore Midwest Mama. I'd love to have you over there too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!